Welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun, exciting, inspiring and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London. Artist, filmmaker and writer Sofia Almaria discusses her latest body of work, Virgin with a Memory, with Omar Khalif at the ICA. Sofia Almaria rose to fame with her memoir, The Girl Who Fell to Earth. Both paying homage to cult cinema and a call to arms, Almaria's latest project evokes a culture of B-list horror movies and rape revenge thrillers, exploring the manipulation of the Arab male gaze through video and installation. The talk will take place at the ICA on Friday the 12th of September and you can find more information on ICA.org.uk. Whose gaze is it anyway? It's an exhibition that will show at the Fox Reading Room of ICA in London. It looks at the history of Arab pop culture through printed matter, like posters, book covers, diaries, as well as through film and video. The inspiration behind this display began with the archive of Abu Dibu Jodeh, a prophylic collector whose underground treasure trove, located in Beirut, holds one of the vastest collections of Arab film memorabilia, from rare Arab film posters to cultural magazines published from the 1930s to the present day. At the ICA, rare film posters and other unique memorabilia from the archive will be presented in Britain for the first time. The exhibition is on from Tuesday the 2nd of September until 5th of October. And for more information, click on to ICA.org.uk. Edited by Anthony Downey, the book Uncommon Grounds, New Media and Critical Practices in North Africa and the Middle East will be launching at the Delfina Foundation in London. In this groundbreaking book, internationally renowned and emerging academics, writers, artists, curators, activists and filmmakers critically reflect upon the ways in which visual culture utilizes the opportunities, opportunities presented by the real-time generation of new, relatively unregulated content online and the prominent role that new media has come to play in artistic practices, as well as social movements in the Arab world today. The book launch takes place on Friday, 5th of September, and for more information, go to DelfinaFoundation.com. Now, let's take a look at what's on in the Middle East. Artist Elmer Dumlau will show his exhibition, Anime Angels, at the Zara Gallery in Amman. A lyrical repertoire of art pieces composed of music and choreographed by classic and contemporary dance. Anime Angels perform rhythms and melodies between heaven and earth and creates a full orchestra. This exhibition is open until Saturday the 6th of September. And for more information you can go to amon.grand.hyatt.com. One of the few cabarets in Lebanon, the Hishik Bishik Show, will take place at Metro Al Madina Club. From the weddings and the cabarets of Egypt in the early 1900s, 10 artists, musicians, singers, actors and dancers take us back to a golden age. With live musicians and subsequent dancing all night away, this promises be to be a great evening. The show will start on Saturday 30th of August and run every Thursday and Sunday at the Metro Medina Club. For your tickets, you can go to metromedina.com. Now, let's take a look at the Arabesque episode of the week. Coming up in Arabesque will be Bryony Dunn, a photographer and filmmaker who spent a year with the last living orchard keepers in Mount Sinai in Egypt. We sat down and had a great chat to her about the project and experience she had with the inspiring people there. Tune in to find out their fascinating stories on Levant.tv slash Arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and the Middle East. Till then, take good care.